here we are. Welcome, we're at Lake Lauderdale in New York. So let's begin. Nice and tall, shake everything out. Again, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Let's take some deep cleansing breath. Inhale up, exhale, reach, and lower all the way down. Up again, inhale. Exhale, reach, and lower. Keep the feet flat on the floor. Bring the arms up, inhale. Exhale and stretch up from side to side at your own pace. Reaching and breathing. Feel the stretch of the sides of your body as you reach. You'll probably hear children playing and you'll hear boats going by, but hopefully that's a calming sense for you. So again, let's take another deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower all the way down to the sides. We're gonna warm up our bodies from top to bottom now. So first shake the arms out. We're gonna shake everything out actually. And then stand nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down and lower the chin to the chest. Press the chin into the chest. Release. Bring the head up inhaling. Exhale, turn and look over the right shoulder. Keep those shoulders back and down. Inhale, up to the right. Exhale, down to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Center, front, inhale. Exhale, turn, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, look up to the left. Exhale, look down to the right. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Center, front, inhaling. Exhale, press the chin into the chest again. Release, heavy head roll over to the left shoulder. Keep those shoulders back and down, abs in nice and tight. Stand nice and tall. Feel the stretch of the opposite side of the neck. If you have any neck issues at all, just roll back and forth in the front. If not jaw closed, keep the heavy head throughout, center back. Heavy head, right shoulder, check the posture. Heavy head, come press the chin to the chest and the front. Release, opposite direction now, right shoulder. Don't forget to breathe. Back if you can. Left shoulder. Front, press the chin into the chest. Release, face the front, inhale. Exhale, move your hips from side to side and shake the arms out. Nice and tall now, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Keep the feet on the floor, bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen and lower the arms to the T position, palms down. Keeping the legs and hips stationary, take a deep breath in. Exhale and rotate just the upper body to the left. Front, inhale. Exhale, just the upper body to the right. Front, inhaling. Do that again. We have another one joining us. Chris, awesome. Hopefully you went to the left. Awesome. Go ahead and mute Chris if you haven't already and then go to the right everybody if you haven't already done that. Keeping the legs and hips stationary. Then come back to the center. Take a deep breath in. Inhale, bring the arms forward in a parallel position, reaching forward. I went ahead and muted you, Chris. No worries. Reach forward, pulling the shoulder blades apart. Keep those abs in tight. 
then release. Bring the arms back behind, clasp the fingers together, straighten the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together. If you want a little more here, bend the knees, knees directly over the feet, push out through the glutes as you're bent at the hips, head and neck and extension of the spine, then straighten the legs, impaling. Exhale, either hold it here, opening the chest even more, or arch back. Jaw closed for a better stretch in the neck. Breathe. And then release, come up. Keeping the shoulders back, bring those shoulders up by the ears. No neck, arms are relaxed. Then release, long arms, long neck. Imagine reaching to the floor with the fingertips and touching the ceiling with the top of the head. Release. Bring the right arm up in pain. Exhale, reach, lengthen, stay in the same plane as you stretch to the side. Going evenly on both feet as best you can, abs in tight. Bring the right shoulder back as you reach, look up, align the left shoulder and feel the stretch at the right side of your body. Breathe. Stay in that same plane. Up inhale. Exhale, change sides. Check the posture, take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach, lengthen again. Stay in the same plane on this side. Weight on both feet, abs in tight. Bring the left shoulder back as you reach, look up. Align the right shoulder and feel the stretch at the left side of your body. Breathe. Up, inhale. Exhale, both arms straight. Check the posture, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, reach, lengthen. Bend the knees, knees over the feet. Push out to the glutes when you're bent at the hips. Look up at the fingertips if you can, abs in tight. This is the Utkatasana. Here's the chair pose. Lots of variations. Then straighten the legs and pale. Exhale, either reach upward or arch back, reaching back. Keep the jaw closed for a better stretch on the neck. Don't forget to breathe. Up inhale. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Check the posture. Again, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Let's take that deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower all the way down to the sides. Bend the elbows and roll the shoulders back. Great big circles, loosening up the torso as you roll. And then straighten the arms for full range of motion. Again, don't forget to breathe. Shake everything out, moving your hips from side to side. Your upper body should be nicely warmed up, I hope. I believe mine is, I hope yours is too. Now we're gonna start working on the lower part of our body just to warm up, which incorporates stretching, toning, and balance. So hands on the front of the thighs. Try to keep your shoulders back and down as best you can. Bend at the hips, keeping the upper arms up against that torso, head and neck and extension of the spine. When you're bent at the hips, push out through the glutes. Keep those abs in tight and breathe. If you can stay nice and flat from hips to forehead, bend further. Listen to your body. Stop when you need to. Try to keep the weight evenly distributed on your feet as best you can. Then release and just relax the upper body. Abs in tight. Head, neck, and arms relax. If you need to modify, you can soften the knees, but you'll get a much better hamstring and glute stretch if you try to keep those legs straight. 
keep those abs in nice and tight. And then slowly round them. One vertebra at a time. Head back into arms, relax. And as your head comes up, bring those arms up in hand. Exhale and again, stretch up from side to side at your own pace. Reaching and breathing, feeling the stretch at the sides of your body. Check that posture again, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Take another deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower. Now have those feet out about twice the width of your shoulders. Your feet can be pointed out slightly. You don't need to have them pointed out a lot, but do what feels best for you. Hands on the waist or the hips right now. Push the hips forward. Roll to the left, bending that left knee. Keep the abs in Roll back. Roll to the right. Roll forward. Now go in the opposite direction. Roll right. Roll back, abs in tight. Roll left. And roll forward. Back to the center. Now have those toes pointed at about a 45 degree angle, heels in, nice and tall. You can keep your hands on your waist if you want, or bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms to the T position, palms down. I'm like at the screen here in the window, so I have to be careful. You do what works for you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and stretch to the right. Up inhale. Exhale, stretch to the left. Up inhale. Exhale, right again. This time if you want, you can reach down toward the floor. Keep the back long and flat, abs in tight. Up inhaling. Exhale, left. Whatever you did on the right side, try to do on this side as well. Up, inhale. Exhale, rise again. You may repeat or open to the back, crossing over, looking up, abs in tight. Center, inhale. Exhale, left. Whatever you did on the right side, do on this side as well. Check that posture. Up, inhale. Exhale, arms up. Check the posture, inhale. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms down to the T position, palms down. I'm gonna bring my feet in just a bit. Now bend both knees so that both knees are over your feet as you lower the hips and bend those knees. Palms up and slowly come up. Inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Check that posture. Walk the feet in. Nice and tall. Let's take a deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, reach, and blow. Again, roll the shoulders. Great big circle, loosening up the torso as you go. And straighten the arms for full range of motion. Breathe. We're going to add our, our little balance here now. Shake everything out. My mat's wanting to curl up here. Hopefully yours is not. So focus on a spot in front of you that doesn't move. We're gonna start with our right side, hands on the waist or the hips first. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and bring that right knee up in front of you. Lower it, inhale. Exhale, right knee up in the front. Rotate it to the side. Lower to the side, inhale. Exhale, up to the side. 
lower inhale exhale up to the side rotate it to the front and lower inhale exhale bend both knees up inhale exhale left side now bring that left knee up in the front lower inhale exhale left knee up in the front rotate it to the side lower to the side inhale exhale up to the side lower inhale exhale up to the side rotate it to the front and lower inhale exhale bend both knees up inhaling right side again exhale right leg forward leg is straight foot is flexed point the toe flex the foot point flex point flex lower inhale exhale out to the side leg is straight foot is flexed point flex point flex point flex lower inhale exhale to the back Leg is straight, foot is flexed, tighten the glutes. Point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhaling, left side now. Exhale, bring that left leg forward in the same manner. Your leg will be straight and foot flex when you start each posture, each position in this one. Point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, lower, inhale, exhale, out to the side, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex, lower, inhale, exhale, to the back, tighten that glute, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Point, flex. Lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhale. We're going to continue with this a bit. Exhale, bring that right leg forward again. Foot is flexed. Point the toe. Flex the foot. Relax the foot and circle that foot round and round. Change directions. Now, point. Flex, lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhaling, left side now. Exhale, left leg forward. Leg is straight, foot is flexed. Point, flex, relax the foot and circle that foot round and round. You're lubricating the ankle. Point, flex, turn, other direction. Stop and lower inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. Up inhale. Exhale, shake everything. We're going to continue with our balance. I'm on a nice flat surface here. Hopefully, you are also. If you're on carpet, it's a little difficult, but do your best. Also, if balance is difficult for you, stand by something that you can touch or only if you need it, touch. We're going to do a tree on each side of our bodies. I'm going to talk you through the beginning tree, and you can do that. We're going to do two of them on each side. I'll do the intermediate also. But we'll start with the beginning. Focus on that spot in front of you that doesn't move. Let's take a deep cleansing breath first. Up, inhale. Exhale, reach and lower. Now, relax the arms, inhale. Exhale, bring that right knee up in front of you. Bring the knee out to the side. Then bring the sole of the foot anywhere you can along the inner leg, even if it's at the ankle. Pull the knee back. Nice and tall. Bring the arms up in halo. Exhale, reach either the V posture or prayer position. Focus on your posture and breathe. This is the beginning tree.
up, inhale. Exhale, reach, release, and lower down. Let's take a deep cleansing breath in between. Up, inhale. Exhale, reach, and lower. Now relax the arms, inhaling. Focus on that spot and bring that left knee up in the front. Rotate it out through the side. Bring the sole of the foot anywhere you can along that inner leg. Bring the knee back, torso tall. Bring those arms up, inhale. Exhale, reach either the V posture with the arms or prayer position. Beginning tree, focus on your spot and breathe. Up, inhale. Exhale, reach, release, and lower down. Check the posture. Let's take a deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, reach, and lower. Now you may repeat that beginning tree, or I will actually talk you through the intermediate tree. Relax the arms, inhale. Exhale, bring that right knee up in the front. If you're doing the intermediate tree, bring the leg up. Your foot is up in your left hand. Then put the ankle up against that left quadricep, that left thigh as best you can. I'm bending my left knee, pushing that ankle in and my knee back, torso tall, bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, either V posture or again the prayer position. Focus on your posture and breathe. Up inhaling. Exhale, reach. Release and lower down. Take another deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower. Again, that was the intermediate tree. I'll do the same on the other side. Relax the arms, inhaling. You do whatever you did on the other side. Exhale, bring that left knee. You did the intermediate, bring that left foot up into your right hand. Knee kind of out to the side, bend that right knee, put that left ankle as high as you can on the right thigh, bring that left knee back, torso tall, arms up, inhaling. Exhale, either the V posture with the arms or prayer position. Focus on your spot, your posture, and your breathing in this intermediate tree. Up, inhaling, exhale, reach, release, and lower down. Check the posture again. Let's take a deep cleansing breath. Inhale up, exhale, reach, and lower. Now let's go ahead and do another one. We're going to do the eagle. You can do either the beginning tree, the intermediate tree, or what you can do is just bring your legs up if you want to modify a lot like we did at the very beginning on the warm -up. The eagle, relax the arms, inhaling. Exhale, bend your knees, bring that right leg around. I'm gonna wrap that leg as far around that left leg as possible, knees remain bent. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, left arm over right, modified prayer position. You can do the traditional prayer position if you choose. Focus on your spot, keep those abs in tight and breathe. Up 
up inhaling, exhale and love. I haven't done that in a very long time. Deep cleansing breath, inhale up, exhale, reach and come down. Now relax the arms, inhaling, exhale, bend that right leg, wrap the left leg around as far as you can. Then keep the knees bent, bring the arms up, inhaling, exhale, reach, right arm over the left, modified prayer position, or you can do the traditional prayer position. Focus on your posture, your spot, and your breathing. Eagle. Release, coming up, inhaling. Exhale and lower. Check the posture, deep cleansing breath again up, inhaling. Exhale, reach and come down. Now roll the shoulders back, great big circles, loosening up the torso as you roll. We're gonna continue with shoulder and posture work here. Straighten the arms for full range of motion. Don't forget to breathe. Now nice and tall. Hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Bring the right arm up, inhale. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and bring that arm in under the chin, that right arm. Breathing. You can see if maybe I can turn a light on here. Maybe not. There we go. Might need that. It's starting to get a little dark. I think a storm is coming. Now release, bring that arm up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, bend that elbow and pat the back. Bring the left arm up. Put your left hand on the right elbow and see if you can bring the elbow back, stretching that shoulder a bit. You don't wanna bring your head forward much, if any. See if you can do that. If this is a good stretch, just hold it here. If you want more, Bring the left arm around, palm outward, and see if you can kind of crawl up your back and find your finger. Breathing. Yeah, it's starting to sprinkle here. Good thing we're on a porch. This is a great shoulder stretch and a good posture position as well. And there are different options. No pressure. Release and bring both arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen and lower the arms all the way down to the side. Now, bring that left arm up, inhale. Exhale, reach, lengthen and bring that left arm in under the chin. Arm is pretty. Now release, bring the arms up, inhaling the arm. Exhale, reach, lengthen, bend that elbow and pat the back. Bring the right arm up, place that right hand on the left elbow and bring the arm back if you can. You can also hold it here or bring that right arm up and breathe. See if you can grab those fingers, it's really up to you. Very good.
Now release and bring both arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Let's again take another deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, reach, and lower. We're going to do a chest expansion now, a couple of them. And there are options. I'll turn to the side so you can see. First, bring the arms back behind you. Clasp the fingers together, straightening the arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together as best you can, opening that chest. Now you may just hold it here breathing throughout this posture or take a deep breath in. Exhale and arch back if you can. You can bring the arms out a bit if you want, but keep the jaw closed for a better stretch on the neck. Don't forget to breathe. Then up inhaling. Exhale, you can still hold it here or if you want, Stretch forward, bending at the hips. Lengthen the spine, relax the head and neck. Arms up high, abs in tight. Breathing, you can modify by bending the knees over the feet if you choose. Lots of options here. Just keep those abs in nice and tight. Don't forget to breathe. Try to keep the weight as evenly distributed on your feet as possible. And slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, you can lower the arms down. You may hold it here again or take a deep breath in. Exhale and again, arch back. Listen to your body and breathe. Up, inhale. Exhale, this time you may repeat that or turn the palms down and out so that the palms are facing out. And then again, if you want, you can stretch forward. You don't have to. Lengthen the spine. Relax the head and neck. Arms up high, abs in tight. Breathing, modify if you need to. Listen to your body. Then slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale and lower the arms down. Check the posture, take a deep breath in. Exhale, either hold it here or arch back again. Up, inhale. Exhale, release, shake everything out. And let's roll those shoulders back again. Great big circle. Loosening up the torso as you roll. And then straighten those arms for full range of motion. Breathe. Great stress reliever, this one. Many of them. Shake out, moving your hips from side to side. Shake each foot out. And let's take another deep cleansing breath. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Up, inhale. Exhale, reach and lower down. Now, we still have time. So let's do some, while we're standing, Let's go ahead and do a little lunge and triangle. So I'm gonna start with my more difficult side. So I'm having my left foot pointed forward, and my right foot perpendicular to it, kind of in the middle of my arch there. Walk your feet out about twice the width of your shoulders. It's more important to be stable than have your feet further apart, so listen to your body. Nice and tall, hips tucked under as best you can, shoulders back and down. Bring the arms up in hand. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower those arms down to the T position, palms down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend that right knee into that warrior two posture. Knee is directly over the foot. 
torso is tall and is perpendicular to the floor, so you can get it in this posture. Arms are parallel to the floor. Turn your head and look over those fingertips that are over the bench right knee. Breathe. Straighten the leg and inhale. Exhale, bring those arms up. Check the posture and inhale. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms again to the parallel position, the T position, pardon me. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push that left hip out, lower the right arm down. Bring the left arm up and stay in the same plane as you slide down that leg. If you start coming forward, come back up where you can be in the same plane. Go to your limit and hold it. Try not to put real weight on the lower arm if you can help it. Lengthen the spine as best you can. Stack the shoulders as best you can. Reach up, look up and breathe. This is a triangle. We did a lunge first. This is a triangle. Keep those abs in tight. Engage those muscles. T, position, inhale. Exhale, arms up. Check the posture, inhale. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms again to the T position, palms down. You might hear the rain on the water. It's rather calming, actually. I hope it is for you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend that right knee again. We're going to come into another lunge. You may repeat that warrior two or turn and do a warrior one. Face that bent right knee. Bring both arms up. Look up and breathe. Straighten the leg, inhale. Exhale, reach, lengthen, lower to the T position, palms down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and rotate to the front. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, reach and lower again to the T position, palms down. Look at your feet, take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're going to do exactly the opposite. So now my right foot's pointed forward and my left foot's perpendicular to it. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend that left knee into that warrior two. Knee over the foot, arms parallel to the floor as best you can. Torso is perpendicular to the floor as you can get. Turn and look over those fingers over the bent left knee this time. Breathe. Warrior two posture. Straighten the leg, inhale. Exhale, bring the arms up. Check the posture, inhale. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower again to the T position, palms down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push the right hip out now. Lower the left arm to the leg and bring the right arm straight up and slide down that left leg as best you can, staying in the same plane. Come back up if you start coming forward. You just go to your limit. Again, try not to put real weight on the lower arm if you can help. Lengthen the spine, stack the shoulders if you can. Reach up, look up, and breathe. This is a triangle posture.
Now T, position, inhale. Exhale, arms up. Check the posture, inhale. Exhale, reach, lengthen, bend that knee and come into that warrior one. If you did the warrior two again, then feel free to do that. Repeat what you did on the other side. I'm doing the warrior one with my knee over the foot, reaching up, looking up, breathing. Breaking the leg and hand. Wow. Bring the arms up and the hand. So reach, lower the arms all the way down. Both feet going to the floor. I hope you can hear me so loud with the thing. Have the heels in. Let's take a deep cleansing breath. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back at the end, up in your head. Exhale, reach and lower. Roll those shoulders back. Great big circle. Opening up the torso as you roll. Straighten the arms, full range of motion. Out. We're going to do a sun salutation now. So then we're going to get down to the floor and just do a little bit before we relax. So it'll be a short sun salutation. Mine will be a little stunted because my space here is a little short. So stand at the front of your mat, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. I'm going to have to move just a bit, modify a bit. Keep the arms up and head. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen. Your stretch upward, those arch back, reaching back. Jaw closed for better stretch in the neck. Up in the Exhale, reach forward, bending at the hips. Lengthen the spine. First, just let the upper body relax in. Let gravity pull you down, keeping those abs in tight. Keeping the legs and tips stationary, rotate the upper body to the right. Your fingertips can either be on the back, on the right side, calf, ankle, or on the floor, or you can do a block, whatever you need. Just keep the abs in and head and neck or an extension of the spine. In a fluid motion, rotate over to the other side. In the same stretch, reaching and breathe, abs in tight. Back to the center. And you can be in Ardha Uttanasana with the fingertips on the floor or the front of your legs or Uttanasana. Palms flat on the floor or blocks beside the feet, bending the knees only if you need to. Keep those abs in tight and breathe. And now, slide the left and the right foot back, hip width apart. Hips in the air, up on those toes and the balls of your feet. Push the heels down, head between the arms. Lengthen the torso and arms. Rotate those shoulders 
down from the outside. So your triceps are somewhat facing outward. Push out through those glutes. Keep those abs in tight and breathe in this downward facing dog. You can always modify down on your knees if you choose. Listen to your body and breathe. Now lower the hips to a plank or a high hover position. Stay high on those shoulders. Try to make sure your rear is not sagging or sticking up as best you can. Engage those muscles. Breathe. High hover or a high or full plank. And now open to the right to a side plank. You can modify with that left or lower knee on the floor. You can have the heel of one foot up against the toes of the other, or stack your feet on top of each other, or bring that top foot up if you choose. Focus on your posture, your breathing. You have choices. You can bring that upper arm above the head if you want. Mine doesn't fit, but you can bring it back up, inhaling. Exhale back down to a plank, check your posture, and then open to the other side. Whatever you did on the other side of your body, try to do on this side as well. Focus on your posture and your breathing. You want to lower that up from above the head. Bring it back up, inhaling. Exhale back down to a plank. Check your posture. Bring those hips back up into the air, up on those toes. Push the heels down, lengthen. Again, come into that downward facing dog. And if you're not modifying on your knees, walk the dog, keeping those abs in Keeping the toes on the floor, bend one knee as you push the other heel closer to the floor. And switch up back and forth at your own pace. Breathe, feeling the stretch of the back of those legs. And push both heels down. Breathe. Now walk your hands back towards your feet. I'm going to bring my feet a little closer together. You don't have to. And first, just let the upper body relax down, let gravity pull you down. You can just stay here if you want. You can come into Ardha Uttanasana with the fingertips on the floor or the front of your leg, or you can come into Uttanasana with the palms flat on the floor, beside the feet. You can use blocks or you can bend the knees if you need to. Focus on your posture and your breathing. Just keep those abs in nice and tight. Now you may round up one vertebra at a time as we did before in the warm up. You can bend the knees as you come up but you can also have arms at your ears or your sides and slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the side. Check that posture and take another deep cleansing breath. Inhale up, exhale, reach, and lower. Roll the shoulders down. Great big circles, loosening up the torso as you move. Breathing. Straighten the arms for full range of motion. Shake out, moving your hips from side to side. 
And let's go ahead and get down to the floor without using our hands for support, but of course use them if you need to. So. Seated stick posture, legs straight, back straight, arms straight. Point the toes, flex the feet, pushing out through the heels. Relax the feet, release the hold. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and round in one vertebra at a time. Arms at your sides near your hips, palms down. As you reach the floor, take a deep breath in. Exhale, push down with those arms and slowly bring those legs up perpendicular to the floor. Your lower back will be against the floor and your abs are in tight. Point the toes, flex the feet. Keep the shoulders resting down into your back below you. Relax the feet, circle those feet round and round, engaging those abs, keeping those abs sucked in towards the spinal column. Change direction with the circles. Point the toes, flex the feet. Relax the feet, open the legs. Place the hands on the inner thighs. Putting pressure down, keeping that lower back against the floor and sucking those abs into your spinal column. If you can keep the legs straight and the, soul, the shoulders resting down into the surface below you, you can bring the, the hands down to the calves or the ankles to keep the pressure on those open legs, those abs in tight and breathe. Point the toes, flex the feet, pushing out through the heels. Relax the feet, release the hold, bring the legs up perpendicular to the floor. Arms at your sides, near your hips, palms down. Point the toes and flex the feet. Relax the feet, bend the knees and hug them into your chest with your arms. You can actually do the happy baby pose here if you want. Instead of doing the full wind releasing position, you can bend the knees and either hold your ankles with your hands or wrap your index fingers around your big toes. And then you're in that happy baby pose. And you may roll from side to side to massage that back against the mat below you or the surface below you. Or you can be in the full wind releasing position doing the same thing, rolling from side to side. Just keep those abs in tight and the lower back against the floor as you roll. Then come back to the center. Release the hold, place the feet hip width apart, knees straight up. We're going to, in order to keep your posture as good as it can be, you have to have a strong core. So we're gonna work on strengthening our core as well, which should help. So I want you to bring those legs back up perpendicular to the floor, arms at your sides near your hips, palms down, point the toes and flex the feet. And I want you to keep the legs straight and the feet flexed and walk the ceiling. You might not be able to move your legs very far and that's okay. You don't want to, you wanna go slowly also. So you use your muscles and not momentum. It's most important to keep the legs straight and push out through the heels. Even if you can't go very far, you're walking that seat. Keeping that lower back against the floor. If you need to support your legs, you can have the hands on the back of the thighs. You need to do that till you're strong enough. And then come back to the center point to toes. We'll do the scissor, cross one leg over the other and slowly open wide, just like we did before, keeping the lower back against the floor and the abs in tight. And then cross the other leg over in the front and open up wide. And go back and forth at your own pace. Again, trying to move slowly so you use those muscles and not momentum. Keeping that lower back against the floor and those abs in tight. You're doing the scissor. So you've done, you've walked the ceiling and now you're doing the scissors. 
when we're finished with this, we are going to do a bridge, which will also help your core. I like to do the bridge after we do the walk and feeling. It seems to fit my body. Hopefully it does yours as well. And now come back to the center. Toes are pointed. Flex the feet. Relax the feet. Bend the knees. Place the feet. Hip width apart. Knees straight up. Put those shoulders on the floor for now. And you want throughout this bridge posture, you want your head and neck looking up straight. Don't turn to the side to look or anything. Just look straight up. So first, press that lower back into the surface below you, slightly keeping up the hips tightening the glutes, the quads, and the abdominal muscles. The lower body is very tight, but the upper body is very relaxed. The shoulders are resting down into the surface below you. Your palms are up and your fingers are relaxed. And you're breathing. Now release that hold in tailing. Exhale, keeping the head and neck looking up, begin to roll the hips up into the air. Bring the arms underneath you, clasp your fingers together and straighten the arms if you can. If not, just push down with the palms and the arms as close together as possible. But if you can clasp your fingers together and straighten the arms, then do so, keeping the head and neck straight and bring those arms, the shoulders, and the shoulder blades as close together as possible as you arch the back, keeping the knees hip width apart. Arch that back. If you can, you can tighten the glutes part of the back, but that's up to you. Head and neck go straight. Hips are in the air as best you can. And breathe in this bridge posture. Now release the hold, open the arms, and slowly round them. One vertebra. And as that lower back begins to touch the floor, bring those knees up and hug them into your chest with your arms. Full wind releasing to the position of breathing, abs in tight, rolling from side to side, massaging the back against the we're going to do a few uh, full pelvic twists here, just to get a little bit of a spinal and pelvic twist into our practice. So keep those knees as high into the chest as possible. Release the arms and have the arms in the T position, palms down, shoulders remain on the floor. Lower those knees over on the floor. Keeping the shoulders on the floor, turn and look at the opposite hand if you can. Keep those abs in tight breathing. Keeping the knees high toward the chest, roll the back against the floor and lower them the same distance on the left side. Looking at the right hand, shoulders on the floor, abs in tight. And roll from side to side at your own pace. Breathe. Back and forth, massaging the back against the floor. Getting that pelvic and spinal twist in. And if you want a little more, when you're in the center, straighten those legs out or up perpendicular to the floor. Point the toes and flex the feet. Keep the legs straight and the feet flexed and slowly lower those straight legs down to the right as close to the hand, that right hand on the floor as possible. Keep those shoulders on the floor, turn and look at the opposite hand, and then in a slow, fluid motion, bring those straight legs up, roll the back against the floor, and lower them in the same manner on the left side, looking at the right hand as you can. And go back and forth, 
at your own pace. Again, going slow. So you use your muscles and not momentum. Don't forget to breathe. And on the final one, bend the knees if they're not already. And come back to the center. I slid down my mat and move it up. And straighten those legs up perpendicular to the floor. Point the toes and flex the feet. Relax the feet, place the soles of the feet together, bending the knees and slowly lower those feet to the floor. Allowing the knees to open like gravity pulled them down. And bring the arms down closer to your torso. Allowing the palms up, fingers naturally curled, shoulders resting down into the surface below. Close your eyes and breathe in this bottle opener posture. And now we'll prepare for Shavasana or full relaxation. So if you want, you can just slide your feet down until the legs are straight or bring those legs up perpendicular to the floor, point the toes, flex the feet, relax the feet, arms are at your sides, near your hips, palms down, and slowly lower those straight legs down towards the floor, slowly and easy. Remember, if you have any back issues, to bend the knees and slide the feet on the floor until the legs are straight. And if you haven't already done so, when you do reach the floor with the straight legs, take a deep breath into your system, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. Exhale and just relax in that fourth posture, allowing your heels to sink down to the surface below you and the feet to flop out, palms up, fingers naturally curled, shoulders resting down into the surface below, and close your eyes, breathe. We're going to take a deep breath in together here. So take a deep breath in, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. Exhale and just relax your body as you slowly exhale through slightly parted lips. Keep breathing and soon we're going to take another deep breath in and when we exhale this time we're going to fist and flex and tighten everything as we exhale. So take a deep breath in. Exhale and tighten. <laughs> and release, and just rest down into that surface below you, in that corpse posture. And now, you may want to roll your head from side to side until you find the most comfortable position for your head and neck. Breathe. Your eyes are closed. Your shoulders are resting down into the surface below you. You're breathing. I'm going to talk you through some relaxation now. So, open your minds. Open your minds and travel to one of your favorite safe places. Your safe place might be at a lake or an ocean where water, you hear the water, you might hear the rain. You might be in a cabin, you might be in your own garden or your own home or a place where you feel safe and comfortable where you can fully relax. 
if you're not already there, go there now. Breathe. We'll move through your body, consciously releasing your joints and relaxing your muscles a little bit more as we move through. So first take a deep breath into your system. Exhale and focus on your fingers and hands, relaxing the muscles as you release the joints. As you move up the arms, release the joints in your wrists. Relax the forearms. Release the joints in your elbows. Relax the upper arms, the biceps and triceps. Relax the shoulders, the deltoid and lateral muscles. As you release the joints, the arms and shoulders are relaxed. Lower the focus now to the toes and the feet. Relax the muscles, release the joints. Allow the heels to sink deeper into the surface below you, wherever you might be in your safe place. As you begin to move up the legs, Release the joints in your ankles. Relax the shins. Relax the calves. Release the joints in your knees. Relax the hamstrings of the back of your legs. Relax the quadriceps as you relax the thighs. Relax the hips, releasing the joints. Relax the glutes. Allow the glutes to sink deeper into the surface below you. Again, wherever you might be in your safe place. The legs, hips, and feet are relaxed. The arms, shoulders, and hands are relaxed. You're in your safe place. Now let's focus on the torso, beginning with the lower back and spinal area, around the tailbone as you move up between the muscles of the lower back, relax them. Relax the obliques of the sides of your torso. Relax the abdominal muscles. Relax the diaphragm and rib cage areas, remembering to breathe. Relax the mid part of your back and spine. Relax the upper back and shoulder blades as you relax the spinal column, moving up between the shoulder blades through the neck to the base of the skull. Now focus on the chest. Relax the sternum area and pecs. Relax the clavicle or collarbone area. And now relax the neck from the bottom to the top and all the way around. Breathe. Release the jaw as you relax the chin. Relax the lips. Relax the tongue, relax the cheeks, relax the nose and ears, relax the eyes and temples, relax the brow, smooth the forehead, and now relax the scalp, beginning at the forehead at the perfect intensity for you. Imagine a massage moving all the way through the scalp to the base of the skull of the neck. Breathe. Your mind is open, thinking happy thoughts and healthy thoughts. You're in your safe place. Your body is relaxed and functioning perfectly. 
for now, wherever you may have traveled in your mind, it is time to be home. Take a deep breath into your system. Exhale and become aware of your fingers and toes, your wrists and your ankles. Take another deep breath in. Exhale and bring those legs up, bending the knees, hug them into your chest for a moment. Full wind releasing the position. Breathe. Raise the head up towards the knees. Lower the head and inhale. Exhale, middle roll to the right to sit up or walk and roll up in a seated position, sitting cross legged, half lotus, full lotus, or however it fits best for you. Nice and tall. Bring the arms up and inhale. Exhale, prayer position. Hold the position and inhale. Exhale and thank you very much for coming. Namaste. I hope you all feel better than when you started. I hope you got what you needed. And I hope that that brain is relaxing you and not scaring you because it's relaxing me. Thank you for being here.